Guys, believe it or not, on this table there are two computers. One really powerful desktop PC where I edit my videos and a notebook. And both of them have almost the same performance and this is due to Intel's 12th generation of mobile processors and today in this video I'll show you how powerful they really are. Intel sent me the MSI Raider G76. MSI is one OEM that makes really reliable laptops. I had two MSI laptops in the past and I'm very happy to test it in the config with a 12th gen Intel Core i7 12700H, 32GB of DDR5 RAM, an RTX 3070 Ti and a 1TB Gen 4 M.2 SSD. For those who don't know, the Intel Core i7 12700H is a very powerful 14-core mobile chip with 6 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. There is an even more powerful CPU and GPU you can config the laptop with. It's the i9-12900HK and an RTX 3080 Ti. But we'll talk about the letters in the CPU name and what they mean a bit later. Now first off, let's have some quick look at the laptop. To add some style to the understated look of the GE76, the company has built an LED strip into the case. The strip looks cool and you can customize it through the SteelSeries GG software. Moving on to the ports, on the left there's a USB Type-A port, an audio jack and a USB Type-C. The right features two more USB-A ports and a full-sized SD card slot. On the back side you will find the power adapter port, a full-sized HDMI, an Ethernet jack, a Thunderbolt 4 port and a mini display port. MSI has partnered with SteelSeries to enhance the keyboard on the Raider G76. The partnership has translated into an excellent keyboard that feels really robust and pleasant to type. Much better than most gaming laptops I've used. Only the touchpad is a tick small. After a powerful CPU and GPU, display quality is perhaps the most important thing for a gaming laptop. My review unit came with a 17-inch Full HD screen with a crazy 360Hz refresh rate. While more resolution at that speed would obviously be great, but the 360Hz refresh rate is great for competitive first-person shooters and Full HD helps to keep also up with the frame rate. If you want more, there's a QHD version with 240Hz and 4K120 as well. Now in this year I got really obsessed with video content and also repairing electronics, especially GPUs. So I was a bit curious. How they want to cool a 12th gen i7 and a mobile 3070 Ti in this thing? Now thankfully MSI has outfitted the GE76 with its new Cooler Boost 5 thermal solution. The system includes two fans that can spin over 5000 RPM along with six copper heat pipes to ensure stable and cool operation. That's like double of the heat pipes which I've seen on most of the devices. Of course I also had to check it with a thermal cam under maximum load and it did really well. Intel's 12th gen processors are also much better to cool by offering much more performance than the last generation, making it not only the most powerful notebook CPUs, but also really efficient. Only the side exhaust of the G76 can really warm up your hand, so keep in mind that you shouldn't keep the mouse too close to the exhaust if you're in gaming mode. And it's not a silent notebook, but that's what you should expect from a gaming laptop with that kind of performance. I have exactly the same specs in my desktop, and of course the desktop version is more powerful, but it's crazy to see how well this laptop performs. This is mainly caused by Intel's performance hybrid architecture, which was taken from the desktop CPUs and has been perfectly translated into the mobile CPUs. For all the non-techy viewers, this hybrid architecture integrates two types of cores, performance cores and efficiency cores. The P core, so the performance core, is prominently where the foreground programs go. This would cover bigger tasks or more important tasks, such as playing a game or running Photoshop. The programs that are deemed most important, usually through interaction, are given the highest priority with the P core. Meanwhile, the E core covers more of the background programs, so less power is sent to the applications you aren't interacting with or don't currently have open. If needed, P core and E core can switch roles to fulfill power needs, but the director will always try to put the power where it's needed and save power where it's not. The Intel Thread Director is built directly into the hardware and provides instructions that make sure the right thread is in the right core at the right time. This technology made Intel in 2022 superior for notebooks and for now I can really recommend to get an Intel 12th gen based laptop, especially if you're a creator or gamer and do a lot on your laptop. And it's not only about the CPU power. The new 12th gen comes with DDR5 support, 
Thunderbolt 4 support and as well M.2 Gen 4 support. All that together, like in the G76, results in outstanding performance. I really do travel a lot and seriously, the GE76 is probably not the best option as it's really huge, but at least it also offers a big screen and a big 99.9 watt hour battery. So the main reason why this laptop is perfect for me is the overall performance. I can simply edit my videos everywhere in full playback speed without creating annoying proxy files. On some of my older laptops, because they were not powerful enough, I had to render the footage in a low resolution and then just render it again in the high resolution just to make the editing progress not that painful. Now, this is literally a mobile desktop workstation. The 12th gen processors are also multitasking monsters and guys, I really tried. I tried to overload it, but I couldn't. I ran a Premiere Pro project in the back, Photoshop in the back, Chrome playing a video and having a game minimized running. It still didn't hang up. It's literally crazy. My last laptops did even struggle with Premiere Pro alone. If I wouldn't have it on camera, I wouldn't believe it. The rendering times are also great. It's very similar to the desktop i7 12700KF I'm using and the Intel Thread Director does a great job and it's perfectly optimized for Windows 11. Now keep in mind, this is not even the top of the line model. This is the 12700H, but let's check out what those letters mean. The Intel H series is for the 45W workhouse and prosumer enthusiast notebooks. The P series for the performance thin and light laptops. The U series for the next gen ultra light laptops and foldables. And then there is also the Intel HX series. And this laptop is even available with an i9 12900HX. Oh well, this is the Coconuts Crazy I Want It All CPU with open multiplier, which you can even overclock in the Intel Extreme Utility. But for my 12700H, of course, it's locked. Anyhow, I'm super happy with the performance with a boost clock of up to 4.7 GHz and I can't really imagine what the i9 can do, but overclocking in a laptop sounds somehow wrong anyway. Gaming is also one of my hobbies and I grew up with video games and when I have time I like to play around to calm down and shut off my brain. Now gaming performance is top notch as the 12th gen H series is mostly paired with a strong GPU like the 3070 Ti in my case. All games I've tried of course in Full HD ran with over 100 FPS up to 300 like in PUBG to really push the display capabilities. For first person shooter games this machine is a beast with a 360Hz display. Basically with this config you can just run any game you throw at it. If you want to see benchmarks, well I'll leave you some links down below as I'm not really into counting percentages and numbers. But usually, also the first thing I do is overclock the GPU and MSI Afterburner, but performance straight out of the box was more than enough, so there is really no need to touch it. As created, it was also important to have Wi-Fi 6E. Now, I recently upgraded my home to Wi-Fi 6 access points, and with Wi-Fi 6, I have not only the fastest Wi-Fi speeds, but also great speeds from transferring data from my NAS, where I store all my videos to edit. In the GE76, there's also an Intel Killer Wi-Fi 6E card, which performs incredibly well, has strong signals and really top speeds. Now overall, I think there are many great OEMs that use the new 12th gen Intel mobile processors, but the MSI Raider GE76 is for sure a great choice. Now I'm so far very happy with it. Of course, it's heavy and the full power only unleashes with the enormous power supply attached, but then it's a legit desktop replacement and a full mobile workstation. And of course, with Thunderbolt 4, possibilities are endless. You can quickly attach fast external SSDs, external monitors, or even an eGPU if you want to go crazy. Now, good job, Intel, and I'm very happy that Intel is again leading the mobile processors with new innovation. And for more infos, make sure to check out the link down below. All right, so we're now here at the end of this video. Big thanks to Intel for making this video possible. It was really a pleasure to try out this notebook and see really how close it comes to my desktop tower which I thought is already really powerful. All right so if you have any questions about this notebook, the latest Intel tech or anything else then make sure to write a comment down below and as always guys I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out. Bye!